This year, 2022, marks the 35th anniversary of one of the most iconic sneakers of all time, the Air Max 1. And Nike has been blessing us all year with some nice retros as well as some pretty amazing collabs on that model. And now the blessings continue because Nike just retroed an Air Max 1 that a lot of the collectors will tell you is an absolute grail. My name is Josh and I will be reviewing the Air Max 1 Crep Hemp. So what is good fam? If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a follow on all my socials as well. Check out the best sneaker podcast out there as well, the Kickback Pod, all of the links are in the description. So let's get into the sneakers, the Air Max 1 Crep Hemp. So this shoe is actually a retro, so it did release the first time in 2004, and back then it released as part of the Nike Crep Pack. Alongside the Air Max 1, we also saw an Air Max 90 Crep, as well as the Air Burst. But the Air Max 1 was definitely the standout of the pack, and now, 18 years later, we finally got a retro. Even though it's not an identical one-for-one -one retro, we'll talk about that a bit later. The official colorway of this shoe is medium brown and mint foam. And the sneakers released on September the 15th for a retail price of $180. And in Europe, it was 180 euros, which of course is a lot more expensive than a regular Air Max one, which retails for around 150. It does have the word premium in the title of the shoe. So that tells you a bit about what to expect from these materials. And the colorway, at least to me guys, is an absolute work of art. This is a phenomenal colorway. You get these different beautiful shades of brown and just that little pop of mint green, or you might even call that like a Tiffany blue. The colors come together so nicely. You guys know I'm not even like a huge Air Max 1 guy or anything, but it's impossible not to appreciate this colorway. The mudguard of the sneaker is done in this medium brown color and it's made out of a very nice smooth suede. And the shoe gets its hemp name from the material that is used in the toe box. Even though the material used on this pair isn't actually hemp, instead they've used this braided woven material. The OG was in fact made out of hemp, so that right there is the biggest difference between the retro and the OG. But the reason they got rid of the hemp was that on the OGs, it would crease very, very badly. So all you Air Max 1 purists out there, don't be too upset that this isn't a one-for-one -one retro. Think of this kind of like an upgrade. And that textured material just looks really nice on the shoe. It's not only on the toe box, you also see it on the tongue of the sneaker. And it seems like this retro version is done in a lighter shade compared to the OGs and I think it works even better on the retro version because it just goes really nicely with the mudguard. Moving up to the mid panels, the mid panels are done in a new buck material and the color being used is this tan brown color which once again provides a nice contrast with the mudguard. And then finally you have this very nice leather swoosh done in this mint green color. An unexpected color choice that somehow works so well with this colorway. You also see the same color used on the Nike Air logo embroidered at the back of the shoe. The midsole of the sneaker is done in an eggshell color and then the air bubble you can also see that same mint green color used there too and then finally moving on to perhaps one of the most interesting things about the shoe that is the outsole so the outsole you get a crepe outsole here which is very very unusual for a nike sneaker you never really see Nike using these type of outsoles. So crepe outsoles are made out of coagulated latex and it provides a very unique look. You typically don't even see these on sneakers. You normally see it on something like a Clark's Wallaby. And if you're interested in a lace switch up, I threw on these rope laces here from my shop, Elevate Laces. Not only does the color match perfectly with the toe box, also that added bit of texture just goes really well on this shoe what do you guys think if you're feeling it make sure you cop the link is in the description we do ship worldwide for a very affordable price moving on to sizing so for sizing i went with my true size which i normally go with on most air max sneakers that is a us 11 and i'm happy to say that it does fit me very well there seems to be a tiny bit more room in the toe box than i'm typically used to with air max ones but it's definitely not noticeable enough to make me want to go down half a size. So I would recommend going with your normal Air Max one size. For me, that's true to size to give you a reference point. That's the same size I wear in Nike Dunks or Jordan ones. And quickly looking at what these are going for right now on the resale market. So pretty much only the bigger sizes have any sort of resale value on them right now. The rest of them, you can pretty much get it for retail. In fact, these are actually sitting in a lot of stores here in Europe. 
This is a real collector's item and also I think this colorway is just a very wearable colorway that a lot of people are gonna wanna cop. So I don't see these prices staying this low for much longer. So if you wanted to cop it, I wouldn't wait any longer. I would go ahead and cop right now. I will leave a StockX link in the description. Overall, the Air Max 1 Crep Hemp. Are these a cop or a drop? The colorway, the materials, and just how good these look on feet. For me, this is actually one of my favorite low-key pickups of the year. We've definitely had a lot of very strong Air Max 1s this year with better storylines and better designs. But if I had to pick a personal favorite Air Max 1 this year that I'm actually going to be wearing and getting a lot of use out of, it would definitely have to be these right here. These, once you get them in hand, you really do appreciate it. So I definitely think even with the higher retail price, I do think these are a cop. Let me know down in the comments, what did you guys think about the Air Max 1 crep? And if you enjoyed the video, you found it useful, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Check out the podcast as well while you're at it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.